welcome back to my youtube channel we are going to america and if you can't tell i am extremely excited about that and my friend james is going to be taking me to the airport and hopefully he can close my suitcase because right now i'm having a bit of a nightmare when i land i'm going to head straight to harvard because i'm going to see my professors and then i've got a massive talk happening which is crazy like i just graduated from there so who, why the heck am i giving a talk to Harvard students, like that doesn't even make any sense. We're in the car now, on our way to the airport, and my amazing friend James is driving me. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, James is so kindly taking me to the airport. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm recording you too. <laughs> Can't do that. Anyway, guys, he's helping me out, and then I'm gonna go to the airport now. Landed. I am now in America. I'm in Boston and I'm so so excited. Um, on my way to my hotel with all of my luggage. It's so heavy and I can't wait to put it down. So um, I landed at 2 p.m. and then I went to the wrong hotel. They have similar names. I went to the wrong hotel. So now I've got another Uber going to the right hotel. And the moment I check in, I put my stuff down got to get dressed and head straight to Harvard and then straight after I've just been invited to like three different parties by my friends and I just don't know if I'm jet lag yet or is that gonna hit at some point but I'm here I'm excited I'm happy Entering the room, it's so big. Oh, this is nice. I chose a good room. I'm in Boston. I was supposed to be a cheerleader here. Ouch. I was supposed to be a cheerleader here, and the pandemic robbed me, and now I'm here. La, 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 this view can we just take a second to appreciate this room oh my goodness uh, yeah this <laughs> oh this is my dream school i applied to be here and the pandemic took it away from me and now i'm here i'm in boss Okay guys, so I am dressed and done and I'm now going to head off to Harvard to go and meet my professor. Really excited and I have a copy of my book for him, which is going to be really cool and we're going to be discussing all things book. Like I can't believe I landed two hours ago. I'm pretty sure jet lag is going to get me at some point, but um, yeah. and it's quite exciting so I'm gonna go inside now and look for my professor and hopefully I can find him but who knows but this is so weird <laughs> guys I just bumped into this amazing person who said that they didn't know about the policy program until they watched my videos absolutely uh, and you're coming to my talk yeah yeah <laughs> nice glad to be here this is great do you know what i'm so nervous to be here and like i can't believe i'm no, doing a talk me. to i'm nervous I'm, I'm nervous to be next to you no! <laughs> well i'm gonna see you inside i need to go find professor rivers have a chat with him and then like head over to the talk but absolutely thank you for letting me know that that's made my day <laughs> of course we can look in the pictures yeah. up here in that park is where his troops stay and he was given an office in the university, in a house wow. that still exists. And, um, and then eventually he moved to a house that can now be visited a few blocks from here. Wow. Guys, this is my professor, Professor Rivas. Hey, how are you, V? <laughs> it's a vlog. Good, <laughs> it's not that's me. for your vlog. Right? <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, like that you said right. hi V. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and he's just showing me around and getting acquainted and these are some cool people that I've met who are students here, right? Yes. And um, they watch the channel. So you're on the channel that you watch right now. <laughs> <laughs> I finally met Victoria in person. Yes. We've been chatting online. <laughs> on WhatsApp since like 2020. the beginning of the journey, remember? Like guys i finished doing my talk and now i've met one of my classmates catherine Hello. and we were in classes together you were just really proactive and i love that so now we finally met and it's so it's just so nice it's so surreal isn't it <laughs> yeah it feels so strange because for so long like i can keep saying you were just squares on like a screen and now we have like a special experience so now we're going to the harvard club yes. for a holiday cocktail party it's a uh, yeah, it's a like a private club, I guess. For like, is it Harvard alumni or Harvard students as well? I think Harvard alumni and the students can usually attend for free. So we missed Ooh. out on that last year. <laughs> but it's okay, we get six months free. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so um, we're going to go inside and just have a little party and meet some people. Then yeah. time to mask up and I'll see you guys when we get in there. Finally at the Harvard Club, which I would have been a member of for sure, and um, just gonna enjoy myself with people. <laughs> Day one going really well. Guys, so I have just woken up and I was about to head out and completely forgot to come and say hi to you. Hi. Um, I'm about to head out to go downstairs and get some breakfast because I'm so hungry. It is 8 in the morning. I've been awake since 5 a.m. because obviously I'm still in the British time zone. So I'm trying to like go and quickly have breakfast and then come back upstairs and go back to bed before I have to go and see Yara. Look, so pretty, so pretty. Trying to find food, but I'm not sure where it is so i am now on my way out to go and meet yara um so excited to finally be able to hang out i just signed a book for her and i'm taking it with me and i hope she loves it and then i'm just gonna i don't think i'm gonna vlog it's kind of weird to like meet your friends for the first time and then you've just got like a camera in their face incredibly sunny like incredibly sunny hi everybody so i'm back from seeing yara and ah, <laughs> it was so nice you know when you're like we've been friends for so long and we've only ever been communicating like on facetime and stuff obviously because of the pandemic so yeah like i'm not not saying that i was nervous to meet her because we'd chatted for so long like four or five hour facetime conversations at a time but obviously it's different in real life you know what i mean like you just it's just always different so i was just a bit like oh my god i hope we have as much chemistry on FaceTime and stuff as we do in real life and I had nothing to worry about. Like it was so great. It was really, really nice. She's so sweet. She's just so sweet. That's all I can say. Like she's just so sweet and she got me this cute little teddy bear which says Harvard on it and um, that was really adorable and I got her my book. I signed it for her and just said thank you to her because to be honest, she's been really supportive ever since like ever since I told her about I was writing the book when I announced that it's going to be coming out when it came out like just the whole stage so I think that was just a really nice moment anyway I am now going to get ready and head off to the Gutman library and do some work because I have quite a lot of work to do I'm gonna be like a Harvard student imagine I'm going to like the Harvard library wearing an Oxford jumper I've just spent a very long time 
inside the shop getting a lot of things that I did not have any business getting and now it is definitely time for me to go home I'm feeling a bit lightheaded and I'm wondering if it's the jet lag starting to catch up with me um, I've spent my time in there in the cop shop I don't know how to say it coop cop whatever and um, now I'm thinking about food so I'm wondering if I want to eat out here or just go back to the hotel and order something because I am feeling quite dizzy anyway I'm gonna go to the tube and go home and then we'll meet when we get there but this is Harvard Square So for today, I think it's day three in Boston and I'm gonna go meet my friends because it's my last day and we're gonna have bagels finally because I literally associate Boston with bagels and I don't know why. So I'm gonna go meet them at the library and just have like one last look around campus. Even though I come back in January, I still feel like, you know, like it's the end of a time. So I'm gonna go meet my classmates, which has been so nice. And it just reaffirms to me that if I had been a student here, I'd have loved it because I love them. Like they're so great and they're my kind of people. Yes, I'm going now. And then the moment that we're done, I'm gonna come back pack because there's a whole messy situation over there. And then once I've packed, I'm flying to New York today so let's go and have one last day with my friends i made it nothing to see just a harvard alumni walking in her school wearing the merch <laughs> i'm so annoying but i'm here and i'm about to find my friends Uh, we're about to get a tour about this library <laughs> and uh, before you guys were here she was like this is a fax now you're here it's like I'm not sure oh, we're you about to be lied to <laughs> making sure we have the right information out okay there. tell us about Widener so, Library is that what it's called Widener yes, yes. okay tell us the about Harry it Harry Elkins Widener Memorial so yes. Harry uh, Widener oh, hi and the baby oh, Distracted because a really really so cute sorry. baby <laughs> arrived on this. You can't ignore a baby. Like baby is just so cute. But we're so back we're to this tour. <laughs> Come and tell us about this tour. So okay. um, what I know about this is that Harry Elkins uh, Widener was a student, yes. a Harvard College student, uh -huh. in, early in the 90s, and he was a huge um, fan of books and he had a huge collection. He had like 3,000 books of his own. 3,000 books. Own private library. Gosh. And what he wished was that when he passes away he wants to donate all of the books to Harvard. Nice! That's when he was <laughs> Well let's let's start with what I've already been given right now. <laughs> like guys yeah. like what the heck? So cute. <laughs> she made it <laughs> <laughs> So cute. <gasps> Look at the book Look cover. Look at the intricacies. I'm so sorry. What? And then I got some ornaments. Hello, Oxford. Ah, uh, Harvard. The three things that literally make me happy. <laughs> and my book. <laughs> no, this is crazy. No, 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 no. Okay, I have no idea what's in here. Don't want to drop it. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> you made us like our own plaques. <laughs> I love how she just shrugs. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's the thing we can do at the Harvard Studio, Innovation Studio. So where did you make these, Sapna? Uh, this is at the Gutman Library, which is at Harvard Graduate School of Education. We get to go into the studio and just play and make things. So. Play, it's not <laughs> playing around, okay? Oh wow, look at this! Adorable. Uh, that is such a surprise. Thank you. That is such a surprise. 
that I can't even tell you. Guys, this is the end of the Boston vlog. I've literally packed so quickly. My suitcase is packed. I've now got an extra bag that I didn't have when I came. So now I've got a suitcase, a backpack, a bag, and I've got all my essentials in here. It's been really, really lovely. My friend Daisy is waiting downstairs to take me to the airport, not the airport, to the train station. I had to pack so quickly. I'm so hot, like this is a mess, but this is the end and I want to end it here so I can start editing this and get this out to you guys so that I can keep on creating and stuff and I hope you've enjoyed it um I had a really great time love Boston got to go before I get charged extra for still being here so see you later and bye I've ended up with so many bottles of water don't know what I'm gonna do with them but anyway that's the end bye Boston bye room with a beautiful view that you can't see anyway bye